how does science not influence humanity? I mean, science is, it's who we are, particularly biology. It's just, it's the study of who we are, how we behave, and whatever discipline you're in, whether you're looking at, you know, the way your heart works or psychology, I mean, everything we do can be traced back to, traced back to science, and that's why science is so phenomenally interesting to study. In our advanced biology classes, we're trying to tease out what is important for these kids um, by teaching them biology. But for example, when we learn about global ecological issues, we ask them to take it a step further. We ask them to understand the biology and the issue, but we also challenge them to learn about the stakeholders involved in these issues, what they stand to gain or lose, the geopolitical climate around a particular issue, potential economic drivers that are working towards or against a potential solution, and for them to see this bit of biology that they've learned as one piece of a larger puzzle that forms the world around them. What, are, what, are, what do parents face um, as a potential risk in a society where they may choose to use advanced reproductive technologies where others perhaps in their family or com community are a little apprehensive. Um, this was maybe brought to light yesterday when we did some role playing and we had multiple points of view um, interacting. Learning about yourself, um, learning about why you are who you are. I feel like science class is kind of like that. Like you're learning about the world around you, your environment, other organisms, your relationship to those other organisms. It's learning about like your place in the world. A lot of people don't think about like science in that way, but I, I guess like when you see it in that light, it becomes so much more interesting, so much more profound. The students, because we're asking them to combine ethics and science, and we're showing them that science really tells us what can be done, but it's ethics and moral inquiry that will inform us about what should be done, that the two of them are equally pertinent um, and valuable and, and need to be required for a true interdisciplinary um, scholarly effort. But now they have a choice. Okay? They can either choose deafness or choose hearing. If they're both deaf, they're very involved in the deaf community. They see this as the linguistic and cultural identi identifier that it is for them. From their perspective, having a hearing child might be very alienating. They think it might be alienating for their child. It could be alienating for them and the parental experience they're anticipating. And that raises a lot of commentary. My favorite moments in the classroom invariably involve um, witnessing a student really extend themselves as a scholar in a way that is perhaps beyond where they are definitely beyond their comfort zone and to reap those really important rewards.